Good morning students. Welcome to Science Online Learning. Students, I hope you are fine and safe at home. Dear students, today we shall learn about digestion of food. Okay, students, the food that we eat is not directly used to provide energy students it is broken down into a simpler simpler form uh, the process of breaking down of food into a simpler form is called digestion okay the process of breaking down of food into simpler form is called digestion and digested food is absorbed by the blood and taken to all the parts of our body okay digested food is absorbed by the blood and it is taken to all the parts of the body students the process of digestion begins from the moment we put food into our mouth with the help of our teeth we bite and chew the food and break it into small pieces as we chew the saliva in our mouth mixes with the food saliva is a digestive liquid secreted by the salivary glands okay students saliva changes the insoluble starch in food into soluble sugar okay students from the mouth uh, the food passes through the food pipe into the stomach our stomach is a hollow muscular bag students the food is turned here and the digestive juices in the stomach break down the proteins present in the food means the digestive juices in the stomach break down the food into a simpler form students from the stomach from the stomach the food is pushed into a bag low the food from the stomach the food is pushed into a low coiled tube called the small intestine okay from the stomach the food goes to small intestine then students the inside walls of the small intestine produce a juice and that juice mixes with the food do you understand students students the walls of the small intestine produce a juice and that juice mixes with the food okay students the liver and the pancreas also pour their juices into the small intestine okay students the liver and pancreas also pour some digestive juices into the small intestine and do these juices help to complete the digestion of food okay students understood that these juices also help to completely digest the 
food that we eat okay students the digested food is almost like a liquid then students the blood vessels present in the walls of the small intestine absorb the digested food and carry it to all the parts of the body you understand now students the digested food is almost like a liquid it to becomes like a liquid then the blood vessels present in the walls of the small intestine absorb the digested food and carry it to all the parts of the body all the parts of our body then students the undigested food the undigested food means waste passes into the large intestine just you see the image also students the undigested food passes into the large intestine and the blood vessels in the walls of the large intestine absorb the extra water okay the blood vessels in the walls of the large intestine absorb the extra water students and the semi solid waste the semi solid waste is passed out through the anus okay the semi solid waste is passed out through the anus then students some tips for proper digestion listen carefully students some tips for proper digestion students have our food at fixed hours okay always have our food at fixed hours fixed time then chew our food well before swallowing means chew our food well and eat it then students eat lots of green vegetables and fruits okay we should eat lots of green vegetables and fruits then do not over eat okay do not over eat then drink plenty of water drink plenty of water every day drink at least eight glasses of water every day okay students okay that's all for today thank you have a nice day